24. <laughs> Dipti's got the paper, so let's get that run the right way. Uh, Dipti, you're starting in Austria. Far-right fringe group has been linked uh, to the gunman who killed dozens in Christchurch uh, in New Zealand earlier this month. Yeah, that's right. That far-right group is called the Identitarian Movement. And earlier this week, the offices, uh, or the, the, actually the home of that leader, was raided after it was revealed that the New Zealand terrorist who killed dozens of people in that attack um, in Christchurch had donated 1,500 euros to the group. The Guardian explains that this group, the Identitarian Movement, is actually an offshoot of a pan-European movement that originated from the French anti-immigrant youth group called Gener Generation Identitaire. In Austria, counterterrorism authorities have been monitoring this movement over its reported links to neo-Nazis. The Australian website news.com.au reporting that um, the group is uh, known to oppose Islam and multiculturalism, advocating neo-fascist ideas about having separate territories for separate races. So what are the Austrian papers saying about this then? Well, this has come uh, onto the front pages of the Austrian papers because the government there, uh, Chancellor Sebastian Kurz, is now mulling uh, disbanding that group because that group also has links to his minor coalition partner, the Freedom Party, that's headed by Heinz Christian Strache. The latter has previously shared videos of the identitarian movement and was even seen taking selfies with some members, but he denies that his his party and the group are linked. The editors at Der Standard say courts should start cleaning really in-house first because they accuse Strache of using the same, quote, extreme right-wing rhetoric and racist ideology as that of the New Zealand gunman. Die Press, another Austrian daily, actually doubts whether the government will be able to disband this group at all because uh, legally you can only do it when the group is in violation of criminal laws, not just because of a dubious financial donation. Let's move on to a different story. Going to take you to Ukraine for this one. The country there is uh, gearing up for elections this weekend. Yeah, these are the first organized elections since Viktor Yanukovych was forced out of power by the Maidan uh, revolution in 2014. It's also one of the most crowded electoral races with 39 candidates vying for the presidency. Polls showing that the front runner, for the moment at least, is Vladimir Zelensky. He's uh, the focus of today's editorial in the Financial Times. The paper describing him as a TV personality who's best known for playing a teacher who accidentally becomes president. Oh, okay. Mm, so maybe life will imitate art. We'll see on uh, this weekend if that's the case. There are concerns around his bid, Stuart, because Zelensky has no political experience. And he's also backed by a wealthy oligarch who many are fearing is actually using Zelensky as a puppet for his own power, um, power ambitions. Politico notes that Zelensky uh, speaks Russian and he's also shaken up uh, the electoral race with some rather controversial statements like criticizing the ban of Russian artists in Ukraine and even saying that he's open to meeting with Putin to resolve the conflict in the Donbass. Now, France 24th web team is uh, looking at a story that's been widely reported here in France. Now, this is the mysterious death of a former French secret agent. Yeah, it's all very uh, mysterious. His name was Daniel Forestier. He was found shot to death in a remote car park in uh, not far from the French Alps last week. He worked for the French uh, DGSE, which is the External Intelligence Service. And he himself, he'd worked there for 14 years, but he himself had been placed under formal investigation in connection to a murder plot uh, involving a Congolese general who's exiled in France, who's a vocal critic of the Congolese president, Ferdinand Mbaou. For the moment, there are no links between the death of Forestier and this murder plot, but we'll see what happens. And no links here either, because Dipti is ending with a story which involves a rerouted plane in California and the actor Keanu Reeves. There is a link between them, though, isn't there? <laughs> there is Somehow. a link between them. Yeah. Nice segue there, Stuart. <laughs> Did my best. <laughs> um, Keanu Reeves, you know, the star of Speed, yeah. Point Break, The Matrix, among exactly. other films, Devil's Advocate. Uh -huh. um, he's reaffirmed his reputation as, you know, a really nice guy. Recently, he was, uh, recently there was a flight from L.A. to San Francisco that stopped at a Californian town called Bakersfield. Mm. Um, and, in fact, uh, it could have been a wasted trip for many travelers because... Um, the flight uh, could no longer fly, so travelers had to take a minivan to get to their destinations. And what could have been a waste of time ended up being an awesome day because Keanu Reeves was aboard that flight and then aboard the minivan. Yeah. Um, 
and he was he played like the perfect travel guide. He offered okay. insight about Bakersville, uh, Bakersfield. He played country music. He had <laughs> lengthy discussions about the recent university bribery scandal and the advantages of Texan barbecue methods. Apparently, uh, okay. that's that's one of his passions. And it turns out that he's actually. The ultimate cool guy is not the first time he's done something really nice. He's known to lead a very modest life. He's known to, uh, once he helped a down and out actress called uh, Octavia Spencer, who's now a big actress, he helped her with her car when she was uh, having problems. He runs private charities. He even took pay cuts in certain films to ensure that star actors could also take part in the movie and was also known to hang out with a homeless guy. We love Keanu Reeves, We then. do. We I'd do. love to be stuck in an elevator with him. OK. <laughs> Can you just use some Matrix-style special effects to get the bus to go a bit quicker? Or, or get him here on set. Or get him here on set. <laughs> you never know. If you're watching Keanu, you never know. He might be. Uh, we'd love to have you here as a guest. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Did you take a role for Arts 24?